Setting up an online course website can be a bit challenging because there's quite a few plugins that you need to make sure are working well together in order for your website to work. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of headache trying to sort things out once your website is up and running. So what I want to do is in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect these softwares together and make sure that you have a fully functioning online course website. But before I begin, I'd like to remind you that all the plugins that I'm going to be using in today's tutorial are all in the video description below and they all come with bonuses. So if you buy any one of those, you get access to my online courses that teach you how to use these plugins from scratch, and therefore saving you a lot of time trying to work out how these plugins work together. For example, with Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. If you buy LearnDash, you also get the LearnDash mastery course that teaches you how to use Learn Dash, and of course, if you buy cart flows, I show you how to set your sales funnels. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to put all this together and see it work in real time. All right, so the first thing we need to uh, take a look here is this diagram here. So this here on the top is your online course website. Okay, to make this really work well, you're going to need these three elements. So the first one is the payment gateway. Now, this is how you collect money from your students. So this is very, very crucial. So you need to have this in place. The second part is the sales funnels. Now, this is where you get to design beautiful checkout pages. And let's say your website grows, you're also going to be able to have upsells and downsells to your courses. So this is also crucial in making sure that your website works really, really well. Finally, we have our membership software. And this is the software that gives us access to different students. So let's say someone buys a course on how to paint, they maybe shouldn't have access to a course that shows them how to prepare the garden. So you can separate these two courses by giving access uh, to different students based on what they've bought. And to do that, you're going to need this membership software. So it's very, very important that you have this membership software in there. So as I mentioned, the softwares that I'm going to be using are going to be all listed in the video description below. Okay, now let's dive in and let's take a look here at how we can set this up. All right, so over here, I have my website. I've already gone ahead and set up Wishlist Member. So Wishlist Member is this right here. This is our membership software. Now, I know some of you have recommended using a Wishlist Member and MemberPress. It does the same job. In fact, I'll have another video where I'm going to be showing you how to use MemberPress um, instead of Wishlist Member so that any one of you that have bought my uh, plugins based on my recommendations, you won't lose out. Okay, so over here now, we have list, wish list member. Cart flows is what's going to control our sales funnels. And the beauty is cart flows also works really well with WooCommerce, which is free. And we have WooCommerce here. So that's going to act as our payment gateway. So the very first thing we need to do is to set our course and our product. So I'm going to come over here to Learn Dash courses. So you need to first have a course in place. So I've gone ahead and created my first course here by just saying my course. So this is going to be my course. Next, I need to add this course onto WooCommerce because this is our payment gateway. So over here on WooCommerce, I'm going to come to products, all products. And I've also named my course, my course. And to add a course here is very easy. All you have to do is to give it a title. And in this case, I've just named it my course. And then over here, we're just giving it a price. We don't need to go in and give it a description because Learn Dash is going to handle that. So now that I have this set, this is looking great. Now we're going to need the integration. So Learn Dash needs to be able to talk to WooCommerce, okay? So that when someone signs up for the course, they know where to be directed to. So let's head over here to Learn Dash and we're going to go to add-ons. So here on the add-ons, we need to look for the WooCommerce for LearnDash. Click install. There we go. So I'm going to hit activate plugin. Great. So now we have LearnDash now connected with WooCommerce. So 
There's also one part which I forgot to mention, and that is your email autoresponder. So thankfully, with MailPoet, it has an automatic connection with WooCommerce. So we don't need to worry about setting this up. But if you're using, uh, let's say, something like ConvertKit, there is ConvertKit for WooCommerce, which then uh, adds people into the appropriate lists when they sign up for the course. All right, so now that we have this all set, the next step now is to head over here to Wishlist Member. This is where now we need to add our payment gateway. So over here, I'm gonna to come to Wishlist, click on Setup, click on Integrations, and then we want to look for our payment gateway. And in this case, we're using WooCommerce because within WooCommerce, you also have PayPal and you also have Stripe, which is fantastic. So all you have to do now is to activate this and notice it is asking me to link a product. So this is the course that we created earlier on on our products in WooCommerce. So if I click here on link new, so I can choose my product here and say my course, and this is the course, and then choose the membership level. So right now I don't have a membership level, but in this case we can say, okay, anyone that buys the um, my course course should go to the my course membership. So that's that becomes their membership that they belong to. So if I have another course here to add on, they won't have access to that particular membership. So everyone is siloed. So that's how this works. So in this case, since I don't have a, um, a membership level set, I'm just gonna hit save and close. We're gonna come back to this stage in a moment. Okay, so now I've linked my product. The next step now, once I have have this all set, is to head over now to MailPoet, if I click here on lists, I can then create my list here that connects with my subscribers. So I can click here on new list and then you can say my course list. Then I can say members of my course list or people that bought uh, the my course. Okay, we're gonna save that. So now I have this all set. Okay, so the question now is, so how does everything all integrate? So before I continue, let's head over here and create our membership level. So we're going to come over here and we are going to say, set up our membership levels here. You can see we don't have anything. I'm gonna click on this plus button. And uh, to make things easier, let's just say, bought my course, okay? So this is so that you know that people that bought my course are going to be in this membership. I'm gonna hit apply, great. So over here, we can go ahead and set all our registrations and all of that, but we don't need to worry about that because all these registrations and link ups, all that's connected with WooCommerce. WooCommerce controls all of that. All right, so now that I have this all set, let's head over back to our integrations and we're going to go to WooCommerce. And now I'm gonna go into this My Course course. And now we need to link it to Bought My Course. I'm gonna save that and save and close. Brilliant. So now our integration is there. When someone buys the My Course course, they're going to be added to that particular membership. Okay, so we're not done yet because we need to come over here now to our products and uh, we also need to tie in our products here. So we're gonna go back over here to My Course. So once you link this, what happens is you're going to see this uh, link in fact, now you see a wishlist member over here, which is brilliant because when someone buys this course, we can just come over here to my, uh, to uh, wishlist member and you can see they're automatically going to be added into the Bought My Course membership. So as soon as they buy this, they're going to be in that membership right away. So you don't need to do anything. This is going to be a an automated system, okay? Now, there's a few things we need to take a look at as well. In fact, um, Let's take a look at more options here. Anyway, we don't need any of this. The most important one here is the wish list. Now, over here, we can also click on this drop down and set this to a course. And what, what this does is it just gets rid of uh, all the extra stuff that we have, which we don't need, which uh, relates to someone selling products. So as you can see here, this has been uh, simplified and this looks much, much better. Okay, so the most important thing here is this has been set. Now, over here on Learn Dash Courses, okay, you now can link the course itself. And this is where the whole system now comes together. So I hope you can see where, where I'm getting with this. The people come to the website or your students come to the website, they buy the course and they're using the payment gateway, WooCommerce. 
Once they buy the course, they're going to be automatically added onto the membership level, which is done using wishlist member. And then to make sure that the people that have bought the course are set to the right membership, we then need to set up what we're doing here on wishlist member so that when someone buys, they automatically get set to that particular product. Now we are saying on Learn Dash, we want that when someone buys this particular course, which is called my course, we want them to have access to this my course. <laughs> so this completes the whole puzzle, okay? So now when they buy this product, they're going to be given access to that course and pretty much that's it, done. So the whole loop now is all closed. So I can hit update. And if we need, if we need to add another product or sorry, another course, the same applies. We come over here, we, uh, we link the course to the membership level, and then we assign the course itself to the particular course in Learn Dash. And then over here now on, on wishlist member, under a setup, we then go to our integrations and we add another course and this course will be linked to the next one. So that's, that's pretty much how we connect everything. And uh, now that we have all this set, this is where now Cardflows comes in. So with Cardflows, this is where you design your beautiful checkout pages, you design your upsells and downsells and the most important thing is once you set all this up correctly over here, then you're not going to have any problems of people saying, hey, I've just bought a course and I don't have access to this, or uh, I've just bought this course, but I can't log in, or I don't have the login details and I can't reset my password because your site now is working as a, oh, let me call it a machine. So this is working like a machine. So this is how you set up your website to work with all these softwares that I've just spoken about. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.